Okay, what you're looking at here is an infrared image of a powder coated Yeti on the left and a stainless steel Yeti on the right. And we're gonna test to see whether powder coating makes a difference, whether you have a Yeti or an Arctic or an Orca. If you personalize your Yeti by powder coating, is it gonna make a difference in how well your Yeti Arctic Orca functions? Okay, here we are at hour two and the readings don't seem to be much different. Here we are in hour three. Again, I don't see a whole lot of difference in the temperature readings. Okay, we're into the following morning, and again, the numbers still look pretty close. I don't see much of a difference, and when we look at how much ice has melted, I don't think we're going to find much of a difference. Okay, this is the last reading I'm taking before pouring out the water. Again, this is about 18 hours later. It's the following morning. We started this uh, previous day. Again, the numbers are really close. I mean, any temperature difference is basically the air temperature in that room being absorbed by the powder coating. We're now 18 hours into the test and I'm pouring off the melted ice to compare between the powder coated versus unpowder coated. And from this angle, I really can't tell any difference at all. Upon closer inspection, it looks like the powder coated Yeti actually had less melting than the standard Yeti. Interesting. <laughs>